Hey, I'm Carthen Audio. Have you ever wanted to own a Carthen flannel? Well, now you can. Go check out my merch store, Crowdmade. Thanks. Enjoy the audio. Yes, mistress. The night is cool and lovely. A perfect night for a ball. Please don't sound so negative, my lady. Attending these events is just as important for a lady of your position as sorting through contracts. And perhaps an evening of food and dancing will help lift your spirits. Of course, mistress. I sent ahead for the order of dances and have listed them out in your book. No, you needn't participate in every dance, but two or three should fulfill your social obligation and allow you to put at least a few of your ten years of dancing lessons <laughs> to good use. Hmm, it seems we have arrived. Mistress, you needn't even ask. Your gown is beautiful and of the highest quality. Your hair is impeccable, as always, and... Even if you were to enter the ball in the simplest of dresses, your loveliness would still outshine even the most fashionably adorned of ladies. <clears throat> now... Please allow me to escort you into the ball. I'm sure there are many young gentlemen waiting to fill your dance card. Don't worry about their stares, my lady. You have a fierce and somewhat mysterious reputation, even among ladies of your own age. Some of them are envious, others are merely curious. Just remember that I- Lady DeLacy, I'm, I'm so glad you were able to attend this evening. After how the meeting with my father went, well, when I heard you'd been confirmed on the guest list, I, I knew I had to seek you out. Young Master Huxley, I don't think... Please, my lady, allow me but a moment to speak with you. My lady, you don't have to... As you wish, my lady. I will return with your refreshment momentarily. I... Uh, I, I appreciate your willingness to speak with me. I was afraid you'd have your butler toss me out the kitchen door for troubling you. I've rarely received a look quite as menacing. I, 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 I really wanted to, um, uh, dance. I, I wanted to dance you. I mean, I mean, I, I, I want to dance with you. <clears throat> what I meant to say was, um, Lady DeLacy, would you gift me the pleasure of dancing the waltz with me? Thank you, my lady. Uh, your, your hand, if I may. Thank you. Uh, you're quite the skilled dancer yourself. Yeah. I, I do enjoy it. I love the way the motion swells with the music. Bringing the dancers together and apart. It reminds me of when I used to visit the ocean as a child. How the waves would roll up on the sand, only to slide away with their own natural rhythm. You think so? Probably too much. My father is quite stern in his opinion about my more poetic leanings. I, I wanted to apologize to you. What my father did, the contract he offered under the guise of a business partnership, and it was unconscionably rude. He is, and, and you're right. He's always been ruthless in whatever he pursues, but uh, I think he really overstepped. Uh, I wanted to apologize on behalf of myself and, and for him for that. No, I, I understand. But I also wanted to ask you if you'd hear me out um, to reconsider the offer. No, 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 wait. Pardon me. I'm so, I'm so sorry. How is she getting through everyone so fast in that dress? No, 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 madam, I, I, I apologize. I, I certainly didn't intend to. I'm, I'm just trying to, never mind. I am so sorry, excuse me. <sighs> Lady DeLacy, please hear me out. Mistress, are you all right? Your refreshment, of course, my lady. Here you are. Lady DeLacy, I beg you to let me continue. I am not asking you to accept the contract as it stands. 
Mistress, would you like me to have the young lord removed? I would be happy to escort him to a particular end of his horse. As you say, mistress. I suggest you keep your statement concise, young Master Huxley. My lady's ears clearly tire of your attention. I'm asking you, my lady, to consider offering an amended version of the contract. Yes, I know he said that. Without marriage, any contract with the DeLacy Corporation would be too great a risk for him to take on, but that doesn't mean you have to marry him. Please get to the point, young Huxley. My lady's patience wanes. Amend the contract. M marry me instead. Master Huxley, you go too far. You have harassed my mistress long enough. I don't mean to hound you, my lady, but I am serious in my offer. I know my father will gouge everything he can from you in this deal, but I am not my father. Please, let's work together to find a mutually agreeable arrangement. <clears throat> the Lady De Lacy will consider your proposed amendment and will contact you in the future for further discussion. Good night. Young Master Huxley. Um, yes, um, good night, my lady. If you will follow me, mistress, I have a chair available for you over here, where you can finish your refreshments without these interruptions. Uh, are you all right, mistress? You've been unusually quiet since we left the ball. I understand. There is much to think about. Mistress, please do not frighten yourself into a hasty decision. Yes, I know that circumstances grow more complicated as time continues. That should encourage caution and wisdom over desperation and... Impulsive commitments. Of course, mistress. I will leave you with your thoughts. 